So good morning all. So when we think about shrines and temples in Japan, we usually think of Kyoto. Because this is where you have Fushimi Inari, Kiyomizu Dera, Kinkakuji and Kinkakuji along with a whole bunch of other very famous temples. But when you think about Tokyo instead, we usually think of a big city. You know, with districts like Shinjuku, Shibuya, Harajuku, Ginza, Akihabara, Ueno and so on. But the thing with Tokyo itself is that it does have its fair share of beautiful temples and shrines. You've got Sensoji in Asagusa, you've got Meiji Shrine in Shibuya. In addition to those, we have... What else we have? So this is the problem. Even though Tokyo has so many beautiful shrines and temples, not many people actually know about it. Because a lot of people usually come to Tokyo for shopping or eating and that sort of thing. Uh, they don't usually think about the shrines and temples that we do have here. And so, what I plan to be doing from now on is probably to hop around some of these smaller shrines and temples just to show you guys another aspect of Tokyo that you probably wouldn't have thought much of before. I have done a few shrines and temples in Tokyo in the past. You may recall my first week here in Japan, I did do some temple hopping. Then there's also Nezu Shrine, uh, which is very close to where I live. And then I also did a bit of temple shrine hopping in New Year's, even though I skipped two of them because the lines are so long that I felt this wasn't worth it. So what I've done today is I've picked three other places that I have not been before. So yes, let's go check these temples and shrines out. And one more thing before we start, you may realize my voice is a bit off today. Uh, that's probably because a couple of days ago, my, one of my friends had a birthday party. Um, so we went to this karaoke bar and we were just singing for about three hours straight. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. The whole bar was singing, it was really fun and all that. Uh, but yeah, I kind of went a bit too hard at it. So yeah, voice is a bit shaky today. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first place we're going to today is a Hiei Shrine. It's close to the Akasaka area, I think. Okay, so what this area is known for are all these toru gates. Kind of similar to Fushimi Minari, but a bit smaller and a lot more dense. Usually the guardians are either humans, foxes or lions. This is the first time I've seen monkey ones. Okay, so first shrine done. Uh, absolutely beautiful shrine. Love the Tory gates leading up to it. Anyway, on the next shrine, which is just down the road. So Google Maps caught that path up before a thousand Tory. There's definitely not a thousand before. Maybe a hundred. So there's the next shrine up ahead. It's got Toyokawa Inari. Huh. At first I thought this was one heck of a modern temple or shrine. But turns out the main part's down there, so yes. <laughs> So I say without a doubt, one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in a temple in Tokyo, let alone Japan. Okay, so the third temple I'm planning to go to is a bit further away from here. Uh, so it's about 11, 10 at the moment, so I thought I'd have a bit of an early lunch. I didn't see Wendy's before, I've not had Wendy's yet since moving to Japan, so let's check it out. Here we go, Wendy's. I wonder if there's any good here. Okay, so this is what I've got, the avocado chili burger thing. Melon soda and fries with some sort of garlic and cheese salt. Yep. Burger looks a bit dry, but yeah. It's Wendy's, what do you expect? Actually, the more I eat them, this, the more this is actually a pretty decent burger. Mm. Pretty stupid dry. The taste wise is pretty darn good. Okay, it weren't the best burgers, but I didn't expect. Right, anyway, let's go to Akasaka Station and uh, head to our next destination.
One second. Let's go Pokemon Ray. It ran away. Right, that's the temple behind those walls there. But I actually had to walk around it to find the entrance. You lied to me, Google. Oh, jeez. They're really making it work to get to the entrance. Ah, okay. They will finally reach the entrance. It's pretty big. Okay, of all the three that we've been to today, this is probably the most normal of them all. I mean, there was like little cat statue area that was quite interesting, but it's only a small portion of it. Most of these grounds is just sort of typical temple fare. There's still one with this temple back there, but it's sort of like the graveyard area, so I'm not going to take any videos over there. So yes, that's kind of it for today. That's all three temples and shrines done. So I think this place is nice, but it's a bit too far out for Tokyo for me to say it's worth it. Um, I mean, the other two that I went to in Akasaka uh, is right in the heart of Tokyo, which is very easy to get to. This is a bit on the outskirts, so yeah, I don't know if I recommend this one. So the one thing I do like about this place though is the small town feel of it. Okay, I know I say at the beginning of the video we're only going to go to three different shrines and temples, but I decided to go to one more, and this one's called Yushima Tenmangu, so it's one of the ones that I wanted to go to on New Year's, but there was a line down the road which I didn't bother going, uh, so let's have a look this time around. So of all the ones that we've been to today, in terms of architecture, I think this is probably the best one. In the middle of the city, so it's not too much greenery or plantations around. Uh, the building itself is nice and it's not too crowded. So we're in our first shrine today, this is Kanda Myojin. This is probably the closest major sh shrine to Akihabara, as you can tell from some of the posters they have around the shrine. I've actually seen this one before. I wonder what's in here. Okay, never mind, there's not too much going on in there. Okay, oh, I say it's not a bad place. It's definitely not too crowded considering it's quite close in the city center. Um, buildings wise, I think uh, Yushima Temangu we had better buildings, but this one is still quite impressive overall. Out of the five I went to today, I think the second one's still my favorite. The one with the wolf statues and all that. So yeah, that's it for me for today. I'm not very good at ending videos, so uh, let's just go to Akihabara and take some time lapses. Why not? <music> 